there isn't much I'm not inspired by. Um, nature, old textiles, history, travel. Um, I mean, I can look at about anything and find some inspiration in it. It's one of the good things about keeping your mind and eye open is that everything you, that you look at has an opportunity in it for some kind of inspiration. I love the marriage of art and words, so I've named each of these with a small quote I've written. This is possibilities, love, faith, courage. They're all signed and dated. I don't know, something about combining the two things, art and words, is to me, there's that beautiful connection. I think my favorite thing about creating um, is the way that I get lost in it. I mean, absolutely, 100%, delightfully lost, like I'm in another land. That, to me, is a really cool feeling. We feel really fortunate to be able to sell our goods nationwide for years on end. Um, but this is how we began, you know, hand painting every single item. And so, I don't know, there's something really special about it, kind of full circle, I guess. I think one of my favorite things about painting is the serendipity of it. You know, where is it going to go? I mean, I'm never exactly sure when I begin. Am I going to start with a palette knife? Am I going to start with a pencil? Am I going to start with a paintbrush? That's the fun of it. I know it's going to go somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. I've been creating and painting my whole life. I was a really, really shy kid, and uh, my parents used to uh, thankfully put materials in front of me so that I could create, and I think that's what brought me out of my shell. I think creating and um, being able to find yourself through it is really cathartic and very, very beautiful. there's something really soulful and special about owning a piece of original art that's been touched and signed and dated by an artist that you appreciate um, what they're what they're putting into their work and what they're inspired by 